creative friends thanks for joining me for another video today i think i'm going to do a dutch pour um, i'm going to start with some white on my surface on my as my base elliot my little dog my little pup of uh, eight months now he's eight months old he's here with me in the background and the door is closed so he can't go and bark outside like a nut bag like he does on most of my, of my videos he's just looking at me thinking this is just not fair uh, and uh, I've also invested in a second heater so I am a much happier bunny I can tell you that it's got so cold here in where I am on the central coast in Australia it's about an hour north of Sydney um, yeah, it just got freezing, so I needed to invest in a second one. And my tootsies are nice and warm, so I am a happy bunny now. <laughs> okay, so that's my base pretty much covered. Mostly, we'll say. I'll worry about my edges later on off camera, so you don't get bored watching me paint edges. And just give this a quick torch to remove any air bubbles and uh, for my paints uh, I made them quite fluid today so I've got approximately one part paint and two parts floor troll I'm gonna work with my favorite color combination which is a turquoise a pink and a yellow so I'm going to start with I'm going to go normally I would go from dark to light so I'd go blue pink and yellow but this time I'm gonna go the other way around so I'm gonna do two puddles I think one here and one there I'm gonna use all the paint up no point left leaving just tiny little amounts of paint in my cup so that's all my pink then I'm going to do my yellow and then I'll finish with the blue instead. We'll see how that looks. I'm going to put a bit more of the blue because I want to make sure that it doesn't get lost. It's actually most of it. So in you go, all the blue. It's probably way more paint that you need for this surface, but it's too late now, it is done. Okay, now I'm gonna get Elliot to get away so he doesn't get covered in paint. That could happen <laughs> maybe on camera, hopefully not. Um, oh, I was gonna forget to, <laughs> last ingredient, some white, which I'm gonna pour just, you know, just on top basically. This makes the paint spread out quite a lot, so it should be interesting. Let's get to it. Okay, this is the result of this crazy pour well you saw me a moment ago jumped out jump out of the way because i blew the paint um, in my own direction because the pattern was developing quite nicely and i thought this is gonna be crazy but let's do it anyway so i blew the paint <laughs> everywhere oh my gosh so i had to pause the video in a hurry to kind of clean up my floor a little bit and my boots as well um, and then, of course, the video did not start again properly. So all I did is just blow over the hard edges with my straw and give it a very, very light torch. And that's all I've done. So you didn't really miss a lot at all. And the colors have turned out so pretty. Um, I wanted a lot of blue and I do have a lot of blue. So I'm very happy with that. With some touches of yellow and pink. And of course, where the colors mixed a little bit of green. So it looks really pretty. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And maybe I should go and sit down and clean up some more now. <laughs> but it was worthwhile. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.